if you want to taste artisan pasta, you may think that you'd have to travel to Italy. It turns out you can also get a taste of Italy on a ranch in the Sand Hills. In this segment, we head northwest of Mullen to learn how a woman from the area is producing authentic pasta in the heart of Nebraska. We are north of Mullen. Wow. This was really fun getting here to Sabiato's Pasta. And I'm here now with Deb Cox, the owner. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. This is an artisan pasta making facility. You're in the middle of the sand hills. You wouldn't necessarily find a pasta place here. Give us an idea of how this all got started. So my parents were back in 1987, they started organic blue corn chips. And they went to New York City and met our dear Italian friends, Gisela and Cristiano Isidori, and they got them started in the pasta business. Time passed, they, uh, my stepfather had passed away, so the pasta business for them had dissipated. So we were actually looking for something to diversify our agricultural business. And my husband said, you know pasta, your family knows pasta. And we still have been uh, in touch with Gisela. We see her all the time. She comes here and stays on the ranch once a year or so. We started looking into it a little bit more and we kind of just grew from there. Uh, we're very much a foodie family. So anything that has to do with any kind of food and making it, growing it, however we do that, it's been something that we've really enjoyed. So I started doing a lot of research and I wanted to stay with the true Italian uh, feel. So we got into the Italian pasta machines, ordered one from Italy, continued with just the whole the development of how they make pasta, the regions of the different shapes of pastas. We kind of really dove in with both feet. What are these racks that are behind us here? What, what do those do? When I uh, extrude the pasta out of the machine, it takes approximately two days to dry the pasta itself in a controlled environment in our building here. And I have to kind of keep it at uh, sort of around the 70 mark, maybe a little bit warmer, just to kind of let it slowly dry. That way it gets a good dry and won't crack, or it gets nice and hard and won't crack. What do you think sets your pasta apart from others? This is also something that we looked into when we were trying to decide how we wanted to make it. A lot of the larger pasta manufacturing companies use Teflon dyes, which create, what they're doing is making a diet or pasta faster and they can produce larger amounts of pasta and dry it a lot quicker too. But you're also getting a real slick pasta itself, which doesn't hold your sauce very well. What we use is semolina, which is just, it's a little fresher. It's made with the durum wheat, um, higher in protein, and it just has a really good flavor to it. So we kind of wanted to lean towards using something a little bit more on the fresher side, real unique shapes, artisanal. So it's something that you can't just find anywhere in any supermarket. Where can people get this pasta? You can go to my website at www.sabiatos.com. I'm in 10 different locations. Mostly they are out here in the sand hills, but if you want anything to be delivered, I can definitely ship it through our website. Deb, thank you very much for showing us around Sabiato's pasta. Mm -hmm.